I recognize the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Landry, for up to five minutes. Mr. Herger, <clears throat> what I, I, I just, I'm just curious, whose brainchild was this in 2005? <laughs> Uh, I, I know this may, uh, it, uh, it originated in the Senate. It was something that was put, <laughs> tagged on to a legislation in the latter hours going through, uh, well, part of an omnibus uh, pay for, and... Uh, you don't know who in the Senate, though. Uh, uh, well, I, I, I think it's public knowledge who's been no, I don't supporting know. this. I, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it, it came through their, uh, the finance committee of the Senate. Be because it just seems to me that this automatically increases go government's cost. I mean, companies who are, are operating on thin margins and, and need cash flow, uh, when they're going to bid on these projects, they're going to have to factor this in. So that, that just increases our cost. I, I'm just trying to figure out as a freshman here, how people come up with ridiculous legislation like this. Well, giving them the benefit of the doubt, I have to believe that they, it was well-meaning. I'm sure they thought, well, we'll just withhold 3%. That way we'll make sure that we collect it. But again, I, I, I think it's obvious as we look at it and analyze it, it was something that was not well thought out. And certainly as we are hearing from our small business people, and not just a small business, but as was mentioned, just the Department of Defense, it was estimated it was going to cost them an additional $17 billion to implement this. So I think as we analyze it, something that might have started out off well-meaning, certainly we can see the repercussions are, are, are very, very derogatory and, and, and negative and something we need to correct sooner than later. Well, but, but was it, what, what I don't understand is what, they must have known it would have had some sort of impact because they kicked the can down the road till 2010. And then, of course, they realized that it was a problem and they kicked it down again. And now it's on our lap. I'm, I'm trying to figure out uh, is, how, you know, I guess what they think about when they when when they pass legislation like this. I know it's like a feel good piece of legislation telling American people that, you know, we're going to do something for tax cheats when really what we should be doing is. Is, is letting the IRS go in and enforce those provisions. So I, I was just, I was trying to get a little bit of you. I know you've been here for a long time, and so I'm kind of trying to get some, uh, some, some, some wise uh, advice, I guess, today. Mr. Landry, I think the wise advice is coming from new members like yourself that have been out in the real world. I think the bottom line is, has happened so often, well-meaning legislation many times has not been thought out and how it really affects uh, regular people that are out in, in, in America trying to make a living for their family, trying to grow their business and hire new people. Uh, this is certainly one of those, I would say, a piece of legislation that was intended to collect taxes that weren't being paid that I believe was not thought through very well at the time. Might have been, I'm sure was well-meaning, giving them, I, I have to believe it was well-meaning at the time. But we can certainly, what, what is important is that at this time we can see it is not working. It is very harmful to small business at a time when we need to be growing jobs and expanding our economy. This is the type of legislation that's working exactly in the opposite direction. Well, I want to thank you because that's why I came to Congress to vote on legislation just like <laughs> this. So I, I certainly <laughs> hope that Ways and Means takes it up. Thank you. I yield back.